So the five P's of perfect pregnancy and postpartum health, or I should say imperfect. Now, the first one I talk, want to talk about is progress, not perfection. I come across so many women who contact me and say, oh, I'm just going to, I'd love to train with you once, blah, 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 or when I am. And it never happens because you know what? That's never going to happen. So things don't have to be perfect for you to start. And that also goes um, if you're having issues with your core and pelvic floor, okay? It doesn't have to be perfect. You can still do movement um, and get started. And I'm happy to work with, you know, um, a physical therapist or whoever you're working with so we can make sure you're moving safely and effectively. So it's talking about progress, not perfection. Or it might be like, oh, I'm just going to start exercising once my baby sleeps for an hour. And you know what? That might be one day in a month. <laughs> so learn to take the little bite-sized chunks, you know, 10 minutes here and there, because that is progress and progress creates consistency and that's where results happen. The second P I want to talk about is pain. Now, this is something um, that is a little bit gray when it comes to pregnancy and postpartum exercise. Yes, you need to be aware of pain. Yes, there's certain movements you can't do when you do have pain, but um, I don't want it to stop you from doing things. And again, as long as you have medical clearance to move, you might be feeling uncomfortable, you might have lower back pain, you might have um, SIJ pain, pelvic instability, um, which is really common, that's pelvic pain. Um, and it also is often mistaken for um, lower back pain. And yes, you can still exercise with that pain. And very often, um, safe and effective movement makes that pain feel better, you know, increasing your mobility. So when you think of exercise, you don't have to think of the extreme and, you know, pushing yourself to exhaustion. Um, just moving and mobility can help you manage that pain. As long as it's not a contraindication to exercise, um, you can do a lot and, um, and it will probably make you feel better. So that's our second P. The first one was progress, not perfection. Um, the second one we've just talked about is pain. Now the third one, which is really common, is peeing or leaking, okay? And very often that word isn't even said or discussed, or if it is, there is panic, another P word, associated with it and everything stops. Now, it's a very common, you know, intercontinence is very common. You know, it might even just happen while you're laughing, while you're pregnant and take you completely unexpected or also during postpartum. And I want you to realize that, again, it shouldn't stop you, okay? Yes, definitely stop what you're doing if that's a signal that your body's giving you, um, but, you know, go and get it checked out and again, work with what you can do when that's happening. And it might just mean the symptoms need to decrease before they actually disappear. And again, it's just working with a professional or someone, you know, who is experienced um, with this and it could be your physio, it could be, you know, um, someone who can provide you with guidance around the movements that you can do and movements that might trigger it as well. Okay. And that doesn't just mean movements in, um, in a workout. It also means, you know, um, movement as you go about your daily activities, because sort of once you adjust that, sometimes it does improve the situation and then you feel more confident to exercise. So that was our third, third P. So we've done progress, um, not perfection. Uh, we've done pain. We've done peeing <laughs> and not panicking. And the next one I talk, want to talk about is pressure. So this is a big one during pregnancy and postpartum, and it is something that a lot of women aren't aware of. And it's what we talk about intra-abdominal pressure and how you breathe and hold your breath when you move um, creates this pressure inside your core. And if that pressure isn't managed correctly, um, it can lead to things like a hernia or a prolapse. But if you become aware on how to manage that pressure, there's a lot of things you can do. And the, the P's that are listed above, the pain, the peeing, and the panic, um, tend to disappear because, because you become a little bit more conscious of how you can manage it and, and a little bit more in tune with your body and how that pressure does affect um, you know, other systems and other things that happen in your body. So intra-abdominal pressure. 
So leading in on from pressure as well, which was our fourth P, is peak. So peak is like a little mountain peak. And that peak often appears on your abdominals, or you might have heard of it as doming or coning of your abdominals. And again, there's often a lot of panic around when this happens, and there's it's not really black and white. So coning or peaking of your core, yes, is a signal that um, your linear alba the muscles underneath, the sheaf of muscles underneath are not activating properly and pushing your core out into a peak or a cone. So yes, you should stop that exercise. But it doesn't mean you need to disappear from exercise completely, okay? It just means um, you need to adjust what you're doing, okay? And that means working again within a framework that's gonna provide you safe and effective movement. So. That's our five P's, and it just means when some of these P's come up, we talked about progress, not perfection, so everything doesn't need to be in line, and you don't need to have a perfect core, you don't need to have a perfect pelvic floor, you don't need to have a perfect sleeping baby to exercise. Second thing was pain. Yes, pain occurs, but if that pain occurs, it is your body's sign of saying adjust and do something different and working with someone who can help you find different movements and a program um, so you can still move you know whether that be pelvic pain sij pain um, hip pain um, and again making sure again that that pain isn't a contraindication to exercise but still working around it peeing <laughs> which is a common one you know i'm leaking i need to stop everything it's a panic mode and again it's just your body's way of saying stop adjust do something different or maybe you're not quite ready for that okay maybe you're not ready to do that many reps maybe that's too many sets maybe you need to adjust the position of your body maybe you're not ready to run maybe you shouldn't be running at that pace okay again it's just another sign of your body Pressure, which again comes back to all the P's we just mentioned, and learning to manage intra-abdominal pressure and how you breathe, um, which is a big thing because it can affect all of those things, pain, peeing, panic, <laughs> okay? And peak, so often with that pressure, you get the peak on your core, which is the coning or the doming. And again, that is a signal to say stop, adjust, find a modification or movement. So I want you guys to pay attention to those five P's, especially my students who are finishing off their last module in the Ultimate Pregnant Core Program, because that's something um, you need to think about, particularly as you journey past birth and return to exercise. If anyone has any questions, reach out to me, post below, jump into my Facebook community, The BFAB Squat. Otherwise, don't forget the five P's of pregnancy and postpartum health and wellness.